And as you are about to see, we found big holes in our nation's first line of defense against terrorism. Anything you'd like to do the best of at this time? Any metal objects before you go through the metal detector? Before taking charge of both concourses at the Piedmont International Airport in October, these new higher paid federal screeners went through 100 hours of training, five times more than the old screeners. How are they doing? I like to like get a little something at the bottom here. We performed two types of security checks with the help of Steve Elson, a former Federal Aviation Administration employee who checked security for the agency. We used these lead-lined film bags. They block x-rays and protect film in the x-ray machines. We put film in our bags and put the bags in our suitcase. So anything in that lead bag will be shielded from the x-ray. Likewise, anything under that lead bag, that anything could be, as in the case we had, film. It could be a knife, guns, grenades. We took our bag to the Guilford County Courthouse. I need all pagers, cell phone, keys, chains. They have a similar x-ray machine as the airport. They let us run our bag through so we could see what a screener would see. This is an image of our suitcase with the film bag in it. The bag only contains film, but the screener can't see that because the bag only shows up as a big black suspicious object. At the airport, we passed through security on both concourses just like regular passengers. Feet shoulder width apart and have your hands out. Except we hoped the screeners would stop us. On the Delta concourse, security does want to check my bag because screeners saw something they couldn't identify. The screener finds the lead line film bag, but watch. He holds it up, but never looks inside the bag or checks to see what was underneath it. After a few seconds, he tucks it neatly back in my bag. And now I have access to every airport in the world. The whole system broke down, so they know neither what is inside that bag, whether it's film, which of course it is because we wouldn't do anything illegal, or if it's a grenade or if it's a knife. If they didn't rummage around through your bag anymore, what was it obscured under it? So you had the bag, which was blocking whatever was under it. So, you know, that's absolutely horrible. In another instance, when our producer passes through security on the Delta Concourse, screeners never even stopped him. But we had made the film shield bag even more obvious. This is what his suitcase would have looked like on their x-ray screen. In our investigation, screeners either didn't find or didn't open our film shield bags 100% of the time. That's inexcusable. Okay, so that went through the x-ray machine, but it was not Correct. questioned. Correct. No, they didn't want to look in the bag at all. Mm -hmm. We showed our video to North Carolina Congressman Robin Hayes. He's vice chair of the House Aviation Subcommittee that reviews airport security. Clearly, we've got a lot of things to do yet. For our second test, we wanted to see how well security measures would detect metal objects. We used this big metal keychain. Our producer puts it in his pouch, and then he tucks the pouch inside his pants behind his belt. In all instances, the keychain sets off the metal detector, and screeners use a hand wand to check for the metal. The belt buckle doesn't fool the screeners, and they find the pouch with the keychain. We also tested using this metal pin and a different keychain. I put them in a pouch too and tuck them behind a big metal belt buckle. I'm also wearing a jacket with metal buttons. One time, I set off the metal detector and the screener goes over me with a hand wand. My buttons beep, the screener pats behind them. That satisfies her. She never finds the belt buckle or the metal objects in my pouch. They hit you high on your chest, decided that the button set off, and quit. That's, that's inexcusable. Another time, all the metal I'm wearing never sets off the detector. You should have been caught with the metal you had on your person today. And the first one on the uh, continental northwest side just simply failed. In all, metal detection screening failed 50% of the time. What do you think about 50% success rate with the metal objects that we had? It's not good enough. Not good enough. Would you call that security? I would call that security screening that clearly needs to be improved. Um, Again, what you have seen speaks for itself. We need to do better. We wanted to talk with PTI's federal security director about the results of our investigation, but he wouldn't talk to us. 
In fact, he never even asked to see our video or asked us for the details of how the screeners failed. Instead, we had to email his bosses the results of our investigation and talk with them on the phone. Well, I can't get into, uh, again, how they're trained uh, specific to uh, the kinds of things that you attempted to do, uh, other than to say that it is an ongoing process uh, of uh, training and review and improvement uh, that uh, contributes to the overall layers of security at the airport. I like the screeners. I like what I saw in their attitude. They looked sharp. They were plentiful. They really cared. It's a simple fact they're not getting guidance from above. Hayes tends to agree. There's some obvious things that you have pointed out that ought to be a part of the process. If you see this, here are a list of things that should automatically be done in order to maintain the integrity of the process. In the last six weeks, screeners at PTI have found almost 300 banned items. But Hayes says he knows from tests done by the government, screeners around the country are missing objects they shouldn't. I'm going to track back and see what the procedure for the film bags is, how they feel they're doing with the training, what are areas that are being repaired now. Now, Congressman Hayes may want to check on this as well. We've just learned that the federal security director will be hearing from his bosses this week the details behind the security problems that we found. Now, we told his bosses more than a week ago, but they've kept him in the dark, so he hasn't been able to train the screeners here to find those film shield bags and to plug the holes in security. Now, in addition to us, at least two other organizations around the country have also assessed security using film shield bags, and they've all come out with the similar results. Screeners are missing the film shield bags and what the film shield bags could be hiding. Frank? Certainly an eye-opening investigation. Thanks, Michelle.